You may have noticed that expecting the occasional zombie apocalypse, we humans tend to function best with our nervous system intact, and our brains, limbs, and major organs all connected and happily communicating with each other. Well, we feel we have to inform you that not all creatures are quite so picky when it comes to intactness of their bodies. Here is a list of animals that live after death. Before we start, ensure to subscribe to Inside Tense and hit the notification bell not to miss such surprising content. Number 10. Cockroaches Cockroaches are infamous for their tenacity and are often cited as the most likely survivors of a nuclear war. They can live without their heads and in fact, they can go on living for weeks. They have an open circulatory system, which translates to little to no blood pressure. So if their heads topped off, the wound just closes naturally due to clotting. Cockroaches don't need their heads to breathe, as they do this process through little holes located on their bodies called spiracles. Although a headless cockroach will die of starvation eventually, it will take weeks for them to do so. Number 9. Bees Bees die and they stay dead. However, there is a reason why they appear on this list because even though a bee might be dead, it can still sting you. Their venom delivery system will still work even if the bee is long dead. When a bee stings, the sting detaches from its body, leaving it embedded to the skin of the victim. Attached to the stinger is a tiny organ that both contain the bee's venom and a tiny muscle that pumps the venom out. Due to the simple physiology of bees, these actions are not controlled by the bee bee's simple brain, but rather by involuntary impulses. So if you think that you're safe picking up a dead bee, think again. Number 8. Octopus I'm pretty sure that you've seen videos online where an octopus after being chopped up continues to move. In fact, in certain Asian countries, eating fresh octopus is a deadly delicacy. It's not the octopus that survives after being chopped up, but rather their eight willy arms that continue to move about. This is because the central nervous system is unique. Most of the octopus's nerve cells, two by three of them in the fact can be found, not in the brain where you would expect them to be, but rather in its tentacles. And these arms can continue reacting to stimuli even after they are no longer connected to the main brain. In fact, they remain responsive even after the octopus have been long dead and the arms severed. Researchers at St. George's University in London conducted extensive experiments on this phenomenon. Number 7. Frogs It has been discovered that frogs continue to move around even when they're brain dead, or to put it more accurately, with its brain missing. But what happens when you remove the frog's brain but leave its body intact? Well, thanks to the let's chop out its brain and see what the hell happens reproach by neurologist David Ferrerell in 19th century, we can tell you that a headed but brainless frog behaves very similarly to a frog with its brain matter perfectly intact, and if you turn the frog upside down, it will raise itself back up. Number 6. Fruit Flies Fruit flies can survive freezing temperatures and go into some kind of animation. This amazing ability to survive freezing temperatures is not why the humble fly makes it to this list. Female flies will live for several days after they have been decapitated, but they can do and engage in reflex actions such as flying and under duress, walking, that's right, chop off a female fly's head and not many changes. Number 5. Snakes Chopping these things head off may seem like a peaceful way to avoid being bitten, but the truth is that that may not be the case. A snake's head, a vessel for its fangs, and deadly poison sacs still can bite you and deliver deadly venom, even if it's no longer attached to the rest of the body. Snakes detect heat signatures with its head, and if you are close enough to the head of the snake that has been cut off, it can still sting you and deliver deadly venoms that can kill you. These heat-sensitive pits are capable of detecting threats for hours even after its death, which means the snake can defend itself even in death zombie style and yes, this applies to if the body is no longer attached. Number 4. Turtles the hearts of the fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals have like their pacemaker cells. They tick over when the signal of the brain stem are not coming through for some reason, which ensures that their heart still functions for a while even when the brain does not. Well, try 5,000 hours in the case of the loggerhead sea turtle. Yeah, you heard that right, they survive that long by on what oxygen they can take from the water through their skin, throat, and so on. 
As well as their body has amazing potential for producing energy without oxygen, their hearts have their fuel sac and they won't give up until their last fuel sac have been used up. Number 3. Salamander This animal has always been synonymous with long life and immortality. Salamanders have the uncanny ability to regenerate any part of its body that has been chopped off. More amazingly, these regrown parts function the same as or in some cases even better than the original parts. This is mainly because of a special protein found in the salamanders, which facilitates the replication of cells. This protein can also be found in humans but smaller quantities and they help us heal from our wounds. So does this mean we can also be able to regenerate several limbs? Oh, we are not quite there yet, but scientists are continually studying salamanders and how their unique abilities can benefit humans in the future. Number 2. Jellyfish That Never Dies when the Medusa, the immortal jellyfish, Teratopus dorni dies, it sinks to the ocean floor and begins to decay. Amazingly, its cells then re-aggregate, not into new Medusa but polyps, and forms of these polyps emerge new jellyfish. These jellyfish have skipped to an earlier life stage to begin again. And the number one spot goes to flatworms. Flatworms are masters of regeneration. They can rebuild any part of their bodies after amputation. If one is cut in half, then the head portion grows a tail and the tail portion grows a head. Cut it into 20 pieces and 20 new worms are created as a perfect replica of the original. This has been exploited by university scientists who have created a colony of more than 20,000 worms and guess what? They are all from one original whose body and organs do not appear to age or die. You love information about animals? If yes, let us know in the comment section below and smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. See ya!